Hello Taurus! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Awaken Tarot. Website on the back is myryve.com. Um, excuse me, there is a creative director for this. Their name is Sally Willems, W-I-L-L-M-S. If you go to the website, I believe you'll see it, but I haven't been on the website, so I'm not sure. Support of Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, this is illustrated by Jesse Reich and the website at the bottom, hayhouse.com. Feel free to freeze frame on any of that information if you'd like to see it longer. Whew. What do we have for Taurus? This one card has come up a lot today. Um, it's the Wheel of Fortune, which some signs go all right with it. Other signs really don't care for it. <laughs> I wouldn't say that Taurus is usually a fan of the Wheel of Fortune, but there could be cases, I suppose. I wouldn't know what those are off the top of my head. Anyway. There's a change coming in. Something... Um, Take it with a grain of salt, the general reading. You may have been avoiding it for a while. You may have very much been avoiding it. You knew something was coming, but you've been avoiding it. Um, even though you've been avoiding it, it's kind of been dancing around in the back of your head, and you have been making a slow, maybe soft plan. Slowly making a very soft plan. Kind of like you had a basic outline of like, well... If I need to deal with this, this and that, and I'll do this and I'll do that. Um, it's something you haven't really wanted to deal with is what I keep getting. Um, it may be just one of those things where it creates a lot of stress and it always does. Whatever it is, it creates a lot of stress and it's kind of like, it also feels like it never goes away. So it's one of those things where I always, I have to deal with it to some extent, but I don't want to go full on. So it could be like a relative or a friend that you're keeping in your life or a coworker. For some of you, I feel like it's easily a coworker. You have to deal with them here and there anyway, but it's like I don't really want to deal with them any more than I have to. And I'm kind of trying to pull back. I don't feel like I maybe I shouldn't have to deal with this. Maybe it's one of those things. But it's kind of like if I gets pushed in front of me and I have to deal with it, that I have my soft plan. And whatever is coming forward, it's not an easy task for you. Um, I feel like I say this a lot. Taurus can handle a lot. It doesn't mean it's easy, but you can handle it, if that makes sense. Just because you can handle it doesn't make it an easy thing. And this is one of those things that this is not easy, which is one of the reasons I feel like I've been holding back. I've been trying to not deal with it. I've been hoping maybe it won't be that big of a deal when I do have to deal with it but it could get pushed on me very heavily. It's coming forward very soon. If it hasn't happened yet, it will happen soon. So it may have already happened or it's happening now. It may be the result of another situation. So for, for example, maybe there's a change, like the person you're dealing with, they might have just recently experienced a very harsh change because of that, now you have to deal with them directly. Like maybe they have lost a home or maybe there's been some type of social change for them or they lost a job or something like that where for some reason you have to deal with them more directly. Um, this, whatever's going on for them, it's affecting you too. It could have directly happened to you too. Maybe you're both going through the same change. It's just the way that they're handling it. You have to directly deal with them now. Um, that soft plan, because I feel like it was there, that soft plan, I feel like you're just kind of going through the motions with that, and you're dealing with what you have to deal with. It seems like it's naturally just taking effect for you. I don't see really panic around you, but I feel like it's weird because there's a lot of quick movements, but I feel like you had this soft plan. I keep calling it a soft plan, or like a very basic outline. Maybe basic is better. A soft plan to me, where I would the reason I would call it a little different is kind of like I want it to kind of work out that way, but I'm not really confident people are going to work with me on that. 
So I'm just trying to stay within certain boundaries because I don't feel like the, the support is going to be there. So I kind of have to roll with it and do the best I can by myself. You might have some support, but not the strongest support that can really force it to stay where you want it to stay. One of those things. The energy is very heavy. Um, there's a lot of fire, and I feel like you're ready to deal with it. I keep, I, I don't know, am I saying the soft plan wrong? Because I keep wanting to say soft plan. Like, I got to kind of work with what I'm dealing with. And it's working out. Um, there's a very... There's a bond with this person, whoever you have to deal with. It's a bond that I feel like I do and don't want at the same time. I like I want to be bonded with this person, but I don't at the same time because of how hard it is to deal with them. So it's kind of like I, I, I want to be around them, but I don't. But like if things could go better, if things could make more sense, this could be maybe we could do that. But it tends to not to, so it's kind of like it's difficult. I don't know. I feel like I'm like in this quasi, like I want to be around them and I don't at the same time. It's very weird, um, which is probably why you're taking up the responsibility because it does matter to you what happens to this person. But at the same time, they're quite difficult. They're quite difficult. Um, you are, once you, the, the further you get into this, of course, the more obligated you feel, the more you kind of take the reins on this situation and just kind of push it forward. Um, the energy of the person you're dealing with, I kind of want to talk about that a little bit more before we go any farther. Because it's going into a whole new phase. And I feel like we just want to kind of pull this together a little bit better. Um, they're not... They're going through... The Tower Heart card is happening for them. It came up on the dice. They're going through this change. It's very... Like, I feel like I already explained the Tower card, but literally I got it in the dice. The Tower card is happening. They're like... Their whole world seems to have crushed. Crumbled, whatever you want to say. They are very self-sufficient. They're going to do what they want to do. They are following you... For, partially for a little while keep this in mind because this energy is very self-sufficient and will return to that way of living once they feel like things have normalized for them so like whatever this traumatic thing it seems like something traumatic whatever that was that happened it's only going to be a shock for like a month maybe two at the most depending on your situation and once that time frame passes I feel like they're just going to go more and do what they want. They're going to act like they normally do. They're going back to their normal behavior, which I feel like is very difficult for you. Um, you'd think these would be more compatible, but I feel like when I'm getting this, this reminds me of like, I've given this analogy with a different earth sign, but I'll do it with yours too. Taurus, if you're dealing with another Taurus, and you're going different directions, that's not going to go well. If you're going the same direction, it might just be a battle about who takes the lead. But this is an energy that, even though it should kind of be compatible, I, d I just feel like it's not. I just feel like it's not. It's not. They have their own ideas. They have, they're a little bit detached from reality is what I'm getting. And I'm not sure if that's just the way you relate to them or if it's just like they're just flat out detached from detached from reality no matter who you ask because they might be they go back into their normal behavior and there's this detachment from reality it's going to be difficult going forward keep that in mind um i don't see it becoming easier to deal with this energy i see it becoming more heavy and I feel like you need to keep that in mind going forward. Things will not be okay if you have to deal with this person constantly every day. Um, I don't mean to be like that, but I keep feeling... Because I feel like the more it comes in, I feel like there's... When I'm seeing these two cards together, I don't like it. I feel like I have all the stress at my back. The Eight of Wands is, talks about speed, uh, sometimes travel... I feel like somebody's needing your attention constantly. They're just jumping in, jumping in, jumping in. And I feel like you're always having things you need to get done and you're trying to get things worked out the way you do. You have your process, you have your plan, you have what you your responsibilities that you keep up with. And you keep having this person come in and come in and come in and come in. Um, if you have to deal with this person every day, day in and day out, um, 
that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem, and that's going to either force you into a choice that you don't want, or it's going to break you and drive you into insanity. Um, not, I'm not saying that lightly. I'm not even trying to say it humorously. It will, it will, it will crack you because whatever this energy is. I know Taurus is extremely strong and you can take a lot, but if somebody is constantly breaking your patterns, constantly breaking your patterns, at every turn they just are making things difficult for you, at every turn they just try to throw you off your game, there's only so long you can take that before you finally snap. And that could be a very devastating snap. It depends on you. I feel like you know yourself better what that could actually mean, but I feel like there's only so much you can take before you lose it. What happens when you lose it is all I'm asking, and just think about where this is going. Um, because I'm getting you're going to have to make a decision here. And I feel like whatever the decision is for this person that you're dealing with, you need to have like a safe buffer between you and them. You cannot deal with this person constantly. Um, if you are, this, I'm telling you, it's going to lead to this moment where it's going to be devastating because I feel like you will snap. Um, I don't know what that means for you. So whatever that means for you, think of your whatever you've gone through in life and you've had these moments where you've snapped. We all have moments where we snap. It's a, it's a human thing where we snap. We just lose it. What happens when you lose it? Because you're going to do it with this person because they're going to just push you one day and it's going to be way too far and you're going to snap, whatever that means to you. Um, you need a buffer. Uh, if there's a way, um, you need to have... Half at least at least half the week where you don't have to deal with them, so you need to have at least somebody who else who can. Even if you have to look out for them two to three days a week, here and there you have to touch base with them two to three days. The rest of it needs to be other people, other people. This is something. If the more that they're in your energy, because this energy is a little bit weird. They live in this strange energy. It doesn't feel like it's connected to reality, and I feel like. This energy that I keep feeling almost wants to attack you um, because they seem to think it's funny to to throw you off your game, to break up your patterns. They might even think it's obnoxious that you have patterns. Um, Taurus can be meticulous and very, like, your pattern is your thing. Like, that's, that's what you love. There's nothing wrong with that. There's literally nothing wrong with that. Is that for everybody? Obviously not. But that's for you. And this person is looking to create calamity and almost make fun of you for having patterns, which is not okay. And that's like, it, it feels like it's almost feeling like an attack almost. Like, they think it's funny to mess with your patterns, to, to throw you off, to throw a monkey wrench in every chance they get. It's Just be aware of it. Just be aware of it. Don't let it happen. Make a decision where this person is not around you all the time. Make that in the very beginning. I'm warning you, if this reading is hitting, if this reading is hitting, some of you are going to be tempted to give it a try to see if you can work with them. It's highly recommended you do not do that. Because if you try, you're going to get into this thing where you don't want to give up, and then you're going to snap, and then something happens from that, whatever that is. Um, so they're, they're kind of saying this isn't something where you have to try it. You know, like, it reminds me of like the kids with the vegetables on the plate. If you don't really, if you smell the broccoli and you're like, that's disgusting, you don't have to try it. There's other ways to get those vitamins. We don't have to eat broccoli. <laughs> as long as we eat something with those vitamins in it, it's fine. We don't have to do the broccoli, is all I'm saying. There's other vegetables. You know what I mean? There's other vegetables. Let's go different, let's get a different green vegetable. I'm just saying. Um, anything else? All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.